hi there in this pro video I'm going to try and show you how to set up this script and also how to execute this script so first of all you need to go to the script editor to do that you need to click on tools and then go to script editor so tools and script editor that will bring you to this uh, script editor I see that you already have some scripts over here not sure what they are but what you need to do is you need to go to file new and then create a new script file I'll just name this as send emails okay then I'll send you a script file this is the script file what I'll do is I'll select all and then I'll copy and I'll come over here and in the send emails function that I just created I'll paste the code so this is my code the first thing I'll do is I'll save it now once it is saved you can see that this, uh, this is the subject if you ever need to change the subject you can change it here this is the body of the email this is what is uh, being sent if you want to change it you can change it over here now this is the actual send emails function this is the function that actually sends the emails and if you ever need to change the name of the tab say for example over here you can see the tab name is roster and agent snapshot so roster and agent snapshots are here so if you want to change the sheet uh, name you can change it over here okay so if this uh, name is changed then you also have to change it over here okay now then uh, what I have done is uh, I have uh, commented this line and I have put this line as a uh, testing line so once the testing is done you will need to uncomment this line like that and then comment this line like that but for testing I have left it like this uh, just so that we can test it uh, for this email right so you can see both these lines are same the only thing is this line takes the data from the sheet and this line just takes uh, this email address uh, to be sent right so I'm just going to send it to this email address that's why I've left this line uh, this is the actual line that should be executed when everything is up and running okay now uh, this is a temporary spreadsheet and this is the part where the PDF is created okay now this is another important thing this is the set trigger part so uh, there are two ways to run this script one is directly run this function so once you run this function uh, it will create the uh, PDF and it will send it to this email address All right if you want to if you want to change it if you want to send to these emails then you have to uncomment this line and comment this line right so this is the function that actually sends the emails and this is the function if you want to execute it every Monday right so for what this will do is it will execute the send emails function every Monday at 6 a.m. right so if you want to change that you can simply go over here and you can change this right so there are two ways of running this function first thing is you set up the trigger right and then it will automatically execute the send emails function every Monday at 6 a.m. or you can execute this function send emails so it will directly send the email right there and then okay so I'll just save this project and I'll show you how to execute uh, the script right so first what we need to do is let's just execute this send emails function so I'll go to run run function and then I'll execute the send emails function so when you are executing the script for the first time you will need to give authorization to the script via your Google account so I'll click on review permissions and then it will allow me to sign in using my Google account so you'll need to do this once just once so that the script has access to your Google account I'm going to show you how to do that so I click on this email because that is what I'm going to use then I'll go to advanced and I'll go to PDF send right and it will ask me all these permissions those are the permissions I need uh, for this script to run so I'll just allow once I have allowed see the function is running okay so uh, what this function should do is it should send email uh, as a PDF to ah, sorry <clears throat> uh, I also need to create this uh, range 
uh, let me just show you before I execute the function what I need to do is I need to create a range for these values so I'll what I'll do is I'll go to data and then I'll go to named ranges right so these are the name uh, named ranges now I want to create a range for this name so I'll just copy this name right and I'll put the named range over here so that is the agent name and agent snapshot c7 d7 done okay so what I just did was I created a named range for agent name for this uh, cell right now I should be able to execute this uh, function so let me just try one more time I'll do save and then I'll do run function send emails okay now it should work Yeah. see it does not ask me for the authorization again because I have already given access to this script via my Google account now it is uh, sending the emails okay so to verify whether or not it is sending the emails what I'll do is sorry I'll go to my uh, Gmail and I'll go to my sent emails so you see all these emails are being sent right there so the two emails sent so far okay it is sending more yeah three emails sent so far okay so once this function has uh, executed completely it will send the emails to all those uh, for all those rows one by one sorry I'll do sent again yeah you see one two three four five so it just uh, sends the emails right so this is a one-time thing if you want to execute this right there and then you'll just execute the send emails function now if you want to set up the trigger so that it sends this send emails every Monday at 6 a.m. so you simply need to do run function and then set trigger right so once you execute this set trigger then you don't have to execute the send emails it will just set a trigger to execute the send emails function every Monday at 6 a.m. Right, so that's it. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. I hope you like my work and I look forward to hearing from you how you like it.